Hi everyone, Paul from the Catawba Moorings. Want to give you a, an in-depth walk around on the brand new model that we just introduced yesterday here at the Miami Boat Show. Uh, it is the 2023 30XL, so it's the newest series in our crossover series. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna do a nice exterior shot of the boat. Great looking boat. Uh, this boat has pretty much every option offered. So while we're standing here, we're gonna see, you'll note it does have a tower on top, outriggers. Um, Definitely an option for what we have coming in. We hope to have our first one in stock mid-summer-ish. We're working on that. We have place to order, just waiting on the timing. So real quick while I'm here, a uh, little picture of the profile, which we'll get a shot on that as well. Uh, and Regulator did release all the information on their website for details of, as far as uh, depth and width and things, which we'll go over here in a minute. Here, you're gonna see a great shot of the bow course a uh, forward trolling motor is an option which is uh, highly desirable Getting a good side shot of the boat's gonna be a little hard but there we go so of course the new tradition uh, nice wide hard top three-sided windshield on the console itself and a very nice sized head as well there you go. we'll get in there get a little better look here in a minute as well standard power or twin 300 Yamahas uh, you do have the option for dual power poles, uh, joystick as well, which you'll see here in a minute. <clears throat> so a little different for a regulator. They have a little pod on the back. And uh, here you see underwater lights. Uh, swim ladder pulls out. And as you see, twin 300s, dual power, power poles, pardon me. And this boat, of course, has the underwater lights. Has just about every option uh, that regulator offers. So climbing the board. We're gonna go all the way to the bow. So nice, wide. And by the way, I don't know if you can quite see this. Midship is above my knees, so my knees are down here. Very deep, surprisingly deep for its size. Very wide as well. So you can get a good grasp of that here on the bow. Great storage while they're underneath the seats here. This is 187 quarts. Down below. And the same traditional style backrests that you have seen, that regulator has, that you, I'm sure, are, have seen and used before. So very solid, very solid. Something cool they did on this design, they have more of a bench seat forward. Morning. This slides forward as well. Up. So great uh, storage down below. Insulated cooler, it could be. Also, by sliding that forward towards the bow, you have a little longer, for someone with longer legs, you'll be able to accommodate them very easily. Also, since I'm 5'8", I figured I'd be a nice model for this. I'm leaning back in the backrest, plenty of room, plenty of room for our, our larger guests and owners to sit down and enjoy the forward bow. Spotlight is an option, which this boat has. As well as down below, nice size head for a 26 foot boat. You know, notice it's all finished. It's all fiberglass down below here. So he has <laughs> a little bit of extra storage down there, as you can see. Uh, battery switches are here, batteries are below. Everything's nice and clean. Coming back to the helm. This has one helm on it, which everything other than the uh, majors here you can control nav lights and deck lights and things uh, by hand or you can come here on the controls itself so it has the one helm everything's touch touch screen of course the yamaha joystick the yamaha autopilot but a cool feature that i don't believe regulator has ever done before is if you look forward this has an upper helm so we're going to step up here Not bad, not bad. I think we're gonna do a lot of these. It, it doesn't take a lot of space, and if you look down below, I'm standing on the dash of the helm, of the lower helm. Nice controls. Standing up is very, very comfortable. That's what I'm doing right now. There is, there is a nice bench seat that you'll see here. So you can get two people up here running if you wanted to, uh, or yeah, 
probably one running if you're not sitting, if you're standing one very, very comfortably. Of course, a whole nother set of electronics up here for the captain. And then looking down. So we're gonna head back down. Again, this is another way you can see how wide this boat is. Uh, fantastic, the seats, um, just like the traditional XO series, will lock in place, so they aren't gonna flop along, around while you're running. Pull it forward. Ah. <laughs> there we go. And then lift up, and you've got great bucket storage, so that is actually built in. And then behind that, Both sides, by the way, that's uh, that's duplicated. And then down below, what a fantastic area for for servicing your motors, your uh, through haul fittings. So you've got your live wells, you've got your pumps for your um, power poles. It's just huge. Two people can fit down here, but a little tight. But I mean, you can see you know, great wiring, great finish work of that. This boat has uh, dual jack shafts here, you can see. Another pan out. So, T Tap rocket launchers are standard. Here you're looking at the optional outriggers, optional uh, power lights, and power antennas. Uh, also, a, a new option this year on the 30XO, and I think for a first for a regulator is the teak accent. What, it just sets the whole boat off. As well as the diamond, uh, upgraded diamond upholstery. But mostly what is, what is most important is when you step on this boat, you know, you know you're on a regulator. Even walking around the sole, it's solid. This is day two of the Miami Boat Show. Certainly would love to schedule a tour to get you aboard. My name is Paul, my cell phone, 419. 656-4507. Give me a call. Love to set up a time, figure out a way we can get you aboard. We do have one on order. And as of right now, it is still available. In the meantime, have a great day. And I look forward to talking to you soon.